So surprising no one, Rudy is trying to sell you Murders of Colvo Manor. Now this set is very lazy and you might be like, how do you know it's lazy? Well, uh, in fact, um, it is incredibly lazy because they use the same artwork from <laughs> New Campena. A lot of people are suggesting that this reminds them of New Campena. But, you know, the art style and they're thinking, oh, maybe this is AI artwork. Now there's rumors that they have used the identical artwork. So Ravnica Remastered, another set that he's very high on, is a set with no creativity. It is a 100% reprint set. I hate it. I hate reprint sets for the obvious reason. It's, it's very lazy. If you're going to pay money to a company, you're expecting a company to do and provide something of value. Ravnica Remastered, this set, you can read the comments. The count comments are brutal, right? They're brutal. And the reason Alpha Investments is back to selling magic cards is MetaZoo is not investable. According to Alpha Investment, it was not investable. It, it was never investable. So the MetaZoo issue means that he's not promoting MetaZoo. And the other issue was Legend Story. Um, there's a smaller channel called Fluke and Box. Very good take on it. They don't want Alpha Investments. They don't need him. He's undercutting the local game stores. He's undercutting the uh, player base. He's basically persona non grata so and then he's not really promoting weiss because weiss he took a bath on attack on titan he's not really able to promote um sorcery for whatever reason he doesn't have disney locana distribution so you can't promote that one piece doesn't need him one piece is bandai it's a great manga um yeah the cards in the set of print run they're calling Campana 2.0 because the art looks suspiciously like art they've already paid for that they didn't make the cut for Streets of New Campana to save money. They used it for this set and tweaked it. Yeah, the art looks horrendous. <laughs> the art, there's something wrong with the artwork. I mean, it looks like Streets of New Campana. Um, no way Carl, Carl Vlo is going to surpass Wilds or Lost Cavern Sales are sentimental wise. It's the reuse artwork that makes MKM looks like streets. Meta, thumbs down, closed browser. Serialized cards are already all, all way overdone. Decaying looking person and channel couldn't happen to a better person. Has anyone noticed Rudy isn't talking about sorcery? It is the last mentioned. DOA, dead on arrival. This set is tagged, bagged, and freed. Dead. Love the hype. <laughs> Love that. <laughs> One dude. Oh, man. The comment sections are very mean to Rudy right now. I mean, but at the same time, he kind of deserves it. I mean, we all know. I mean, it's not a... You don't have to be a genius to understand why he's hyping this product. He doesn't love it. He just has to sell it because he cannot sell MetaZoo no more. He cannot sell... Um, What's that card? Flesh and Blood no more. The players really don't like him. And the stores don't like him either. He's actually gone on record from a now deleted video where he was complaining about both of those two IPs. So what else he got to sell you? I mean, the dude's been smacking Magic the Gathering for the last year, two years. Because he's been busy selling MetaZoo. MetaZoo has been far more profitable than Magic for him. When you're selling boxes, kits for $8,200. Mystery bat packs for $700. Now he, he doesn't have anything to sell. So it's back to Magic the Gathering. Oh, everything is great in Magic the Gathering, says Rudy Chan. Carver Manor to the moon. And everyone hates it. You know, the clue edition. God damn. You know, um, Chris Cox. And the, the, yeah, I mean, the, I, I have to agree with this take. It's um <laughs> incredibly bad. People are generally excited on for these new play boxes. Maybe your patron echo chamber. I mean, Rudy, if this turns into magic and other card games, is not a big indicator that inflation will go back and Powell. Okay, so no new ideas, I guess, huh? 
Gotta respect Rudy giving us truth bombs and data and hard data about the trenches. Taco King never chains. Murder is a cover matter. <laughs> what the F happened to the game? <laughs> yeah, man, this, this is a terrible set, man. I mean, who's buying this stuff? Like, like seriously, who's buying Return to Ravnica when you can get a dual land for the same price as a collector's box? They, come on, guys. Come on. And the dual lands are going up. They're going up to the moon. I'm actually at Crown Kingdom right now. Taking. Man, the prices are going to the moon, man. What the hell is going on here? Do not sell Rudy your reserve list cards. He will pay you pennies. Pennies, dudes. I will pay you everything. The prices are literally going to the moon on the reserve list. I, I was underwater for a long time. I was <laughs> a shit ton of these cards. And now I'm a plus 30% winner. Or plus 20% winner when you take y'all. Still underwater in some of the cards. But nonetheless, I mean, it, it's... um, Isn't it weird? Like, does anyone else find that this is, like, really weird that he's promoting Magic the Gathering now after shitting on it for so long? Like, the reason's got... I, I promise you, the reason 100% is no one wants him in their card games anymore. Simply put... No one wants him. MetaZoo doesn't want him. They won't return his phone calls, right? <laughs> um, and he said, I mean, he said MetaZoo was never investable. I don't think anyone would ever invest in, my God. You know, if you want to kind of cut your ties to MetaZoo, that's the way to do it, right? Uh, especially with your own Patreons. And then Legend Story... They got a player base. Looks like they got a real legit chance at running a game up. Hey, good on them, right? I mean, the player base understands what Rudy is. They don't want 9, 10 Rudy promos like MetaZoo has. They want a Rudy promo every set release. They got one. And he sold it to them for a thousand bucks. And then he burned them in front of them. That's who you want endorsing your product. Think about it, man. That's who you want to endorse your product. You give him a promo of himself. He sells it for a thousand dollars a promo. Lifetime discount on Flesh and Blood, right? Wonder how long that has lasted. And then he burns the rest. I mean, if you're a player of this card game, you think this is a joke, right? This is a joke that the, the most expensive card in the card game at the time, or one of the most expensive cards, the dude's burning them on a barbecue in front of his pool. That's that's the uh, level. I mean, I, imagine if it was the NFL hired him to do a sponsorship or Coca-Cola or a big brand. And that's what he came up with. Come on, guys. You know they ain't going to sponsor this shit. This is not professional. Like, he's... <laughs> he just wants your to Timmy's money. He wants Timmy to work at Taco Bell for 8, 10 hours a day and then hand over their paycheck every week. Eventually, the Timmy got to learn.